dear primary five members i believe it has been a long time and we have been waiting for our teachers for a long period of time but the world without science is something which is not okay the only way to live with the primary five members is to live in a scientific world tell your parents that the only thing we should do is to learn together with me your teacher in class i say we are here for you and you're there for us how has been this curfew and quarantine but we cannot take that one so much because life must continue how many of you today have enjoyed the chicken at home very many of you have been enjoying chicken at Cafe Java's, you eat chicken from Outlet Freedom City. They have been cooking chicken every time you tell your parents I want chicken. But there is no something good like eating delicious meals. Apart from eating it, we need to be also good farmers. And apart from eating it, we also need to know something about poultry. When I talk about poultry, I simply mean uh, domestic birds. When I say poultry, I mean domestic birds. Birds which are found at home is so, uh, what we call poultry. We call them poultry because they are found at home. So when I say, do they tell you, define the term poultry? If it's your mom watching and she never knew about the word poultry, this is the only chance for everyone at home to know what poultry means. Whenever I see the word poultry, the one I put on my board, uh, I simply mean birds which are kept at home. So we say poultry are birds found at home. Poultry, poultry are birds kept at home poultry are birds kept at home or sometimes you can define poultry as poultry are domestic birds poultry are domestic birds poultry are domestic birds uh, still this work is good for primary seven also who are going to uh, so we say poultry are birds kept at home or poultry are domestic birds. When I talk about poultry, do stamps differ? When I say poultry keeping, poultry keeping is the rearing of domestic birds. Sometimes they bring a difference between the two. One, they say, what is the difference between poultry? Uh, sometimes they say, what is the difference between poultry and poultry keeping? Or they say, differentiate between the term poultry and poultry keeping. You find a solution you're already out. Why are we out? We don't differentiate. But today I believe I've said that poultry are birds kept at home. Or you can say poultry are domestic birds. Examples of poultry. Examples of poultry or examples of domestic birds. Examples of domestic birds. When I say domestic birds are meaning poultry. Examples of domestic birds. Examples of domestic birds are meaning what we call poultry. What are the examples? You at home, can you tell me some of the examples of the birds? Which are found there where you stay? What do you keep? Do you know what you keep at home? If you know, it is so interesting that you know, but uh, there are very many others, even they have their doves. You took a dove at home. A dove is a dove, is a wild bird. Why? A dove is found in the bush. But let us give some of the examples of our poultry. We have chicken. Have chickens as examples of poultry. Uh, we have pigeons, examples of poultry. Pigeons. We have guinea fowl. We have guinea fowl as examples of poultry. We have ducks as examples of poultry. We have geese 
as examples of poetry and very many others. When you look at the side, the one I've written on the board, I've told you that we have chickens, we have pigeons, we have guinea fowl, we have ducks, and we have geese. Those are the examples of some of the uh, domestic birds, examples of poultry. When I talk about chicken, those are the ones that we eat in cocoa. So in cocoa is a bad food that warm. When I talk about the pigeons, those ones you know in Jiwa, Guinea Falls, uh, this was the Baganda quality in Kofu. And when somebody says ducks, ducks, it means uh, these ones which are kept, they move like this, mother duck, mother duck, eh? Mother duck in the water, mother duck, those the ducks, which we say that the mother duck is in the water in our primary one, in our primary two. The songs we always sing, we are talking about one of the birds which are kept at home. Let us look at terms used in poultry keeping. Let us look at terms used in poultry keeping. Terms used in poultry keeping. Look at terms used in poultry keeping. We look at these terms. Which term do they use in poultry keeping? That when you see one of the terms, can you give the answer to the questions which the teachers ask you? There is this first term. Uh, part A, there is what we call candling. They must ask you why, they might ask you what is candling. Simply say, candling is the exposing. Candling is the exposing. When somebody talks about what is candling, I've told you when they ask you what is candling, candling is the exposing of an egg into intensive light to check its normality or abnormality. You get, for instance, this is an egg I have. This dust is acting as my egg. Then I expose it to the bulb into the intensive light. So when I see two black spots inside, it means that this egg is double yoked. That one cannot hatch into a chick. When I expose the egg into intensive light, and I don't see any round dark spot inside because that egg shell is trans a bit translucent, you can see something inside through it. When I don't see a, a spot uh, inside, that egg is yokeless. So it means that the egg which can hatch, it can, it must be with one yolk. When you see two black spots, it means that one's having double yolk. Just put it in the saucepan and you cook it, then you enjoy. Don't bother to give to the mother egg to, to hatch it. Then don't forget also, when it is having one that is normal, when it doesn't not have any black spot inside the egg, that one is also abnormal, is your place. Let us look at another term. Another term in portrait keeping is what we call a brooder. When they ask you what is a brooder, what are they meaning? A brooder is a special place where chicks of one day and eight weeks are raised from. A brooder is a special place. A brooder is a special place where chicks, where chicks of one day to eight weeks. 
to 8 weeks are raised from a brooder is a special place where chicks of one day to eight weeks are raised from is what we call a Buddha. You can design a room, a special room. After designing a special room, just to get a room, you put inside a room what we call litter, like the wood shavings. Then to keep those chicks warm, you get a pot, you put in charcoal, you light the charcoal, so you get the burning charcoal to provide the warmth. And you also put enough lights. What are required? What things are required in the brooder? We need a source of heat, like a pot with the charcoal to provide heat, to provide warmth to the cheeks. Then we need enough light. And apart from that, we need water. Eh? In a conical drinking water rack, in a brooder, and food, so that those chicks keep on growing in a closed place. Don't forget that the importance of a brooder, chicks are protected from harsh weather conditions like rainfall and sunshine. Let us look for the last one for discussion now, is what we call brooding. There is a difference between a brooder and brooding. When I talk about brooding, brooding is the provision of essential care. Brooding is the provision of the essential care of the required condition for proper growth of the chicks. This is the provision this is, this is the provision of the essential care for the proper growth of chicks, for the proper growth of chicks. Or sometimes we say brooding is the provision. This is the way of caring and raising chicks. This is the caring and raising of chicks is what we call brooding. But you say this is the provision of the essential care for the proper growth of chicks is what we call brooding. And then a brooder is a special place where chicks of one day to eight weeks are kept. How many other terms do you know about uh, poultry keeping or keeping of poultry? I know the terms you know from the keeping of poultry. Other terms we have terms like tell me some. You are going to tell me a point. A point is I am point with that one. I know day ahead. Ahead is a uh, mature. Is a mature female chicken. Then a cock is a mature male chicken. Don't forget uh, that a couple is a castrated cock. If somebody talks about a couple, part D, we say a couple is a castrated cock. A couple is a castrated cock. So the castrated cock is a couple. There are very many times by today. I've just come up with this one. We see that we can do the best out of our lessons. I know the teachers taught you a bit of the poetry keeping, and you have a lot of poetry. But why have I come up with these ones? These ones are some of the complicated areas in poultry keeping. When I come back another day, dear my class, I love you so much. I come back another time. We shall look at different things under poultry. Maybe we shall look at the diseases of poultry, but I only advise you to revise hard. 
because the term is going to resume any time from now. Let us read our books. Let us love our army. Take care of yourself. Remember, this is the COVID period. Remember to wash your hands with clean water and soap. Apart from that one, keep a distance. Avoid hugs. Keep out from your friend. Always cover your nose when you are sneezing. No teacher is going to tell you that apart from me.